Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy DJ the Gamehead, and this is one of I think this is actually my third online ranked game, but uh, this one I actually decided to record, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm coming with the Broncos, that's my favorite team. We're going against uh, a guy who clearly has Green Bay, so uh, hopefully it'll be a good game, man. I think uh, I think I'm getting used to the game already. I like some of the new animations, the target passing, the uh. Just the way you can take control now. So let's say like last year before when you lead a guy to the sideline, you couldn't make that sharp turn back inside. Uh, they allow you to do that now. And just a few things. There's just a few minor tweaks. Um, there's a few things I want them to actually improve on like uh, uh, the DB play. Um, the press. I understand there's a press coverage in, for a reason. But I feel like not everybody, sh like you shouldn't be getting burnt by like 20 feet when you press somebody. I can understand, I can understand um, maybe two, you get two, three steps on them the most. But like they literally, like if you press somebody, if the dude even has, if the dude has 85 plus speed, he is he's burning you. It's not even going to be close. And I'm just tired of that, man. Uh, I think I was playing somebody too before this game. I think I was playing the guy with the Vikings. Yeah, it was the Vikings. I had the Broncos. And he had, um, yeah, he had the Vikings. I had the Broncos. And they had freaking Stefan Diggs burning Chris Harris Jr. off the press. Like, he's some kind of speedster. Like, he was beating Chris Harris Jr. by, like, a good a good five steps. Probably probably even more than that one time. I was like, all right, this is kind of crazy. I understand Chris Harris isn't the best press corner. But he can definitely play up. Like, he can play up and uh, smother the receiver. So... For him to press and get burned that badly, it's not realistic. And Stefan Diggs ain't no goddamn Julio Jones. But uh, I'm a, let's get into the commentary on this video, man. Uh, Jamal Charles, nice pickup by the Broncos. Hit him for for five yards on a screen pass. C.J. Anderson right up the gut. Boom, boom. And uh, he picks up quite a few yards. Next play, we give it back to uh, C.J. Anderson. We got the second quarter time winding down. So we want to get a touchdown here, and we do. So. Put the pressure on him to score before halftime because we get the ball back. So, uh, whatever he does here is irrelevant. As long as he doesn't get a field goal or a touchdown, I'm cool. Uh, he can waste all the time in the world. So, like I said, we get the ball back right before halftime. First play out of halftime, we go with a play action. We hit up we hit up the uh, B receiver, Demarius Thomas. You know, possession, possession, catch that, stay on the ground. Don't want to get hit and fumble. Uh, now we just we just need to pick up the first down, which we do. We got CJ CJ Anderson uh, looking pretty good out here. So uh, Virgil Green on the corner route, and he can't keep his feet in bound. Uh, that's actually what's killed me too about this. That was actually the second time I threw a Virgil Green um on that corner route before in this game. So and they did not allow me to get the toe tap and catch. So uh, two times in two games. And I just showed it again because I just wanted you guys to know how upset I was. So uh, I understand not everybody's excellent at that, but I think that should have been a pre pretty easy uh, toe tapping catch, especially if I possess and caught it while well, I pressed the possession catch it way before. And right there, Chris Harris Jr. with the interception. Chris Harris Jr. is a beast, man. Uh, I probably have about four interceptions with him in this game so far. One in the uh, Mutt team up, and then I have like three and I have, like, three in a uh, ranked game. So, uh, Chris Harris Jr., man, pretty good. And we hit uh, Jamal Charles out the backfield. What a move. He dives a little bit too early, and we score, man. Nice little play. Get uh, Jamal Charles in space. He makes one guy miss, and then the other one just dives early. So, that was actually just a mechanical flaw. Uh, he didn't trip him up or anything. Right there, I thought we almost had a pick. Chris Harris Jr. almost had a second one, but he drops it. Great deflection. We got him on second and ten now. I try to blitz with my safety. It uh, doesn't work out. So he hits us over the middle, picks up a first down. Uh, we're just lurking right here. And a keep to lead with the pick. Nice, nice play right there. Keep to lead with that deep coverage. I think we were in cover. Oh, we was in that. Yeah, cover three drop. So uh, really can't go over the top there. Had to look for something. Nelson, so CJ Anderson in the fourth quarter trying to put the game away with a what? What is this? Like 65 yards or something? C.J. Anderson, we could actually pick up like an extra four yards, four or five yards, but we want to stiff arm him to make to have some fun with this. So right here, Paxton Lynch overthrows him, and that goes out of bounds. So next play, we come back. I think we throw it to him again, incomplete, over the top. So uh, we settle for the field goal here. 
So now we pretty much make this a three possession game as to where he has to score a touchdown. He has to score three. He has to score at least two touchdowns and then uh, get the ball back again and at least get a field goal if he wants any chance at uh, victory here. So we're feeling good about this. It's only a minute fifty five seconds left. It's not much he can do. So we're in the driver's seat. So we're just gonna play Bemba don't break defense. I think I might have taken one chance here, uh, blitzing, but I can't remember. So. We're trying to lurk him here. That's all we're trying to do. We're trying to lurk it a user pick. Cause right here, right now we have two we have two interceptions, but neither of those were picked by us. So and I make a horrible play right there. Keep to leap saves me. Um so right there, Shane Ray drops a pick. That could have been one right there. And uh we come we decided to blitz him, so let's have some fun with it. And Brendan Marshall gets the sack. The running back didn't pick up the blitz in time. That's what happens when you have a wide receiver. Uh now a running back, uh, Ty Montgomery uh, blocking. So it's not his forte. Missed the block there. We made him pay for it. And we hit Emmanuel Sanders on a nice little comeback route. What a pass, Paxton Lynch. We didn't really throw too many passes this game. We mainly focused on the run, just trying to get better with that. CJ Anderson falls in the end zone for another touchdown. I think he has to have at least 150 yards by now. And we're up 24 zip. No need to see the extra point. We're just pretty much just letting him waste the clock. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty, we handled this game pretty fairly, uh, pretty easily. We really didn't turn up to the fourth quarter. And right there with the lurk, Brandon Marshall with the pick, and that seals the game. So two possessions in a row, he came up huge. One with the with the sack on fourth down, and then another one with the pick right there. So we just speed up this game because it's not much really to say. Uh, we're just trying to work on some new plays. And with that being said, the video is about to come to an end. Let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm liking this new Madden a little bit so far. So, uh, I got no complaints really, except for except for they don't let you switch sometimes like every other Madden, every Madden in the past few years where you're trying to switch. Uh, you're just pressing B, but it doesn't switch you to the closest guy. So, that's been my only complaint so far. Pretty enjoyable game. I'm gonna jump into some mud soon. So stay tuned for some of that gameplay. And uh, with that being said, I'm out, man. Skrr.